Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. P-51 pilot hammers Piper M-600. Artemis inspections evaluate 5,000 degree re-entry. Federal funding to benefit development of lead-free avgas. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. P-51 pilot hammers Piper M-600. Ask any tail dragger pilot about the issues inherent in taxiing the average conventional geared airplane around a busy ramp, like the Pitt Special, Cessna 195, Russian SU-26-2931 Suhoi series, or the P-51 Mustang. So as the year was coming to a close, two aircraft met in the worst possible way, the oft-worn nose-to-tail collision. A North American P-51D Mustang November 3333 Echo, nicknamed Glamorous Glen 3, ran into the aft section of a Piper PA-46 600TP M600 November 282 Tango X-Ray during taxi at Houston Executive Airport in Texas. Some chopping ensued, the P-51D sustained minor damage and the sole pilot on board was not injured. The PA-46 sustained substantial damage and the two pilots and two passengers were not injured. Preliminary information indicates that while the PA-46 was holding short for departure runway 36 at taxiway A as the P-51D taxied into it, the PA-46 horizontal and vertical stabilizers were destroyed and the aft fuselage skin was damaged, close to or past the aft end of the pressure vessel. The P-51D sustained damage to the propeller and will no doubt require an engine inspection and teardown. Both repairs will be costly, but the M-600 is going to be very much so if the airframe is not written off entirely. And after the break, Air National Guardsmen perform dramatic Christmas rescue. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Air National Guardsmen perform dramatic Christmas rescue. Late Christmas Eve 2022, the Alaska Rescue Coordination Center received a call from the Alaska Native Medical Center requesting emergency assistance for a patient experiencing acute complications of pregnancy at a clinic in Shuktulik, a coastal settlement approximately 365 nautical miles northwest of Anchorage. The AKRCC coordinated with the USAS 176th Wing to dispatch a 211th Rescue Squadron HC-130J Combat King II and a 210th RQS HH-60G Pavehawk helicopter manned by a 212th RQS Guardian Angel team. Hotspots gain standardized depiction on FAA charts. The FAA has published its new hotspot symbology, which will go into effect in the May charting cycle. Hotspots have been an item of particular attention for the administration, a cause of many incidents and injuries throughout the last 50 years as aging airports are expanded and revised amid increasing aviation traffic. Often, the hotspots arise from a complex or confusing taxiway or runway intersection, an area of transit that increases the chances of an accidental collision or incursion. NASA 747SP heads into retirement. 
Sophia, NASA's 747SP, has headed to its new home at the Pima Air and Space Museum in Tucson. The plane took off for the last time from NASA's Armstrong Flight Research Center in Palmdale, California. Throughout her time as the SOFIA program's mobile laboratory, the aircraft granted the astrophysical community, quote, unprecedented access to the mid- and far-infrared wavelengths of light, end quote, thanks to her considerable data-gathering capability far above the dirty magnetic fields of the Earth below. Black Hawk Aerospace Acquired by New State Aviation New State Aviation Holdings has acquired Black Hawk Aerospace, adding it to the firm's anchor aviation investment, AVEX. AVEX maintains its focus as a sales and maintenance provider for the lineup of Dyer TBM turboprops, which was acquired in December 2021. AVEX and Black Hawk will continue to function independently. Black Hawk's management will remain. Black Hawk's Waco, Texas home will remain the core of the company's operations, with 60 employees helping to provide engine upgrades for a variety of turboprop aircraft. And that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Artemis inspections evaluate 5,000 degree re-entry. Inside the multi-payload processing facility at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida, engineers and technicians are conducting inspections of the heat shield on the Orion spacecraft for the Artemis 1 mission. Orion returned to Kennedy on December 30th after splashing down in the Pacific Ocean on December 11th. Technicians closely examined the heat shield, which endured temperatures near 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit during re-entry through Earth's atmosphere. The heat shield will be removed from the spacecraft and taken to another facility for further detailed inspections. Teams are also inspecting the windows of the capsule along with the thermal protection on the back shell panels. While still in the transfer aisle of the facility, engineers are in the process of removing external avionics boxes. Technicians will take air samples within the capsule ahead of repositioning it into a service stand that will allow access to the interior. Upon opening the hatch, technicians will remove the internal avionics boxes and payloads. After conducting detailed inspections and testing, the avionics boxes will be reused for the Artemis II mission. Deservicing will continue in the coming months. Once complete, the spacecraft will journey to NASA Glenn's Neil A. Armstrong Test Facility for abort-level acoustic vibration and other environmental testing. And after these messages, federal funding to benefit development of lead-free Avgas. Unbridled passion. Unequaled performance. Unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor, a commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Are you tired of tucking your phone under your headset to make a call and having cords and adapters strewn about the cockpit? Experience wireless cell phone communications and your personal music with Pilot Communications Blue Link 2. Blue Link 2 gives you a wearable link to two Bluetooth enabled devices at the same time and can even control your phone and music. Use Blue Link 2 with your existing headset or a Pilot Communications headset from pilot usa.com. Welcome back. Federal funding to benefit development of lead free avgas. In February 2022, a cooperative comprising the FAA and Aviation Petroleum Industry stakeholders established the EGLE, or Eliminate Aviation Gasoline Lead Emissions Program. The initiative set out to safely but surely eradicate the production and use of leaded aviation fuel by the end of 2030. The passage into law of the $1.7 trillion Consolidated Appropriations Act of 2023 allocated $10 million to the continued development of unleaded aviation fuels. The funds will support the Eagle Partnership and may be used to expedite the maturation of unleaded fuels currently being tested and evaluated under the auspices of the FAA's Piston Aviation Fuels Initiative Program. At present, the aforementioned PAFI program is assessing two candidate unleaded 100-octane fuels developed respectively by Afton Chemical Philip 66 and Lion Del Bacel VP Racing. Federal monies deriving of the Consolidated Appropriations Act may also fund field demonstration programs for fuels having received FAA-type certification or supplemental-type certification, such as General Aviation Modification Inc.'s G100 UL fuel, which received usage authorization via FAA supplemental-type certificate in September 2022, and Swift Fuels' 100R higher octane unleaded fuel, the FAA supplemental-type certification of which is expected to be granted in 2023. 
And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.